Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap. Um, last video, we finished up the Palace of the Winds, and we are actually done with collecting all the elements. We have all four elements, and uh, I think we're pretty much ready to hit this game into endgame. Now, I don't know if we're going to be going to endgame immediately by any stretch, but uh, we'll at least like kind of see what happens once we uh, take this portal here. I'm sure the, I'm sure everyone will have some words for us. At last, we've got all four elements. Let's go revive the sacred blade. The sacred blade, eh? Um, you know what? Actually, I never used that fairy. I'll, I'll go ahead and keep it. I need to use uh, Nehru's charm. We need to actually look at um, Din's charm since we actually did get another charm when we gave Din a house. Um, but yeah, we are done with that dungeon. We are done with, uh, all the dungeons. Uh, we can technically start heading for endgame now. But, uh, before I do that, obviously, there might be some stuff I want to take care of. Um, might you just, there's a genetic top this house. Under, okay, no, we already... He is just telling us something we already know and what we already did. Technically, we could just have warped on the top, but I just want to make sure there's not anything else we can do before we do that. I think this is, yeah, you. Making sure there's no fusions. There's not. Fusions? Who needs them? I do. They're important. Okay. Back at the cloud tops, let's go ahead and warp on back down to Kakariko. Or just the town market, uh, whatever. What is it? It's just called Hyrule Town. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll call it Hyrule Town. Um, first thing we're going to do. You see this bell up here? Well, um, well wrong button, first of all. Um... Let's use Rock's Cape and let's hit this bell. For a uh, heart piece. And like I said, we're actually getting close to being done with heart pieces. Uh, I know we have five containers left. I know there is actually another container we get in the game. So that's not it. Uh, so we actually have 11 left. There's four times... Actually, no, four times four. 16. I said 12 last time, but I meant 16. And then, um, we just got one, so 15. Uh, can I jump in here now? Apparently not. It's not something we can do, apparently. Uh, one thing we can do, though. Uh, first, up in the shop. Let's actually head down to our good friend, Swiftblade. Because he said that we he'd give us a new ability once we got uh, something that will allow us to jump or whatever. You have the Rock's Cape, and you have acquired new skill. Yes, I'm ready to train you again. Yes. The Down Thrust. First, equip Rock's Cape. Second, equip the sword. Third, jump. Then fourth, at your jump's peak, swing the sword. That's all, young swordsman. Yes, let's do it. Now you must try it yourself. Equip the rock scape and the sword, and then jump when you reach your peak. Oh, I missed it. What? Why is it not working? Oh, okay. You have to do it before the little floaty thing. <laughs> yeah. So you can't do it at the very top of the jump, but just like, you have to do it like almost in quick succession, like there. Uh, but that gave us a new Tiger Scroll. We need one more before we can get that very secret technique that we were told about. So we're still not quite done. Um, let me uh, break this sign and go back in here, see if there's anybody who can fuse in here. Um, 
about fusing. Yeah. We've been pretty good about fusing. Not fuging. Whatever the hell that is. Um. Let's see. Just checking to see if there's any other fusions we can do. These people don't want to fuse with me. That's fine, because I hate them all anyway. It's not true. I don't hate any of them. I'm, I'm just marginally disappointed in all of them. That's all. And cl clearly that's a much different thing, you know. Okay, so going back to this area. There's a reason why I'm back here, because I believe with Rock's Cave, we can get this heart piece. And we can also go all the way over here and get this cave, which I don't think we've gotten into yet, since you didn't have any shallow water to climb out of. So this is definitely new for us. Making sure there's not any... Okay, there's a chest there. A pinstone. Before I do anything else, is there anything else in here? Yes. Plenty of stuff, actually. Chest. 50 shells. That's a, those are actually the... I mean, I think we got some, like, small shells, like, in the last dungeon. But those are, like, the last, like, big group. That's the last, most recent big grouping of shells we got. There we go. Yeah, I've been looking for a lot of these because we've not really found a whole lot of these. Uh, th this is for the uh, Goron quest. We're like really far behind. I think it's mainly we just haven't really gotten a lot of uh, access to caves that allow this pretty much. break open that wall, though. That's cool, though. I'm, I'm sure we can find a Goron somewhere for that. But let's uh, go back over here, because there was some other caves we can look into. Man, this cave is huge. <laughs> Big, huge cave. I'm just going to keep on looking at the back wall just in case there is another one. This cave is like the mother load right here. There's so much stuff in this one cave. Uh, wait, wait, is this? Ah, okay. They probably could have gotten this somewhere before. Actually, no, because there's no way to get to this. You can't drop down here, so... Yeah, that was the only way we could have gotten this piece of heart. That's interesting. Unfortunately, we have to kind of dig through here. We do have that one power-up that does allow us to dig through these faster. Which I probably should have been utilizing maybe a bit more. But it's okay. None of us are perfect. No one's perfect. I just come closer than anybody else. <laughs> wow, ima imagine having like a viewpoint like that. Imagine.
imagine having such a toxic nuclear. Okay, so we have another ladder with more goodies. I saw that light light over there. Is that really all there is over here? Wow. Aha! So we actually discovered this beanstalk earlier. And you'd think that this beanstalk, oh, it's gonna go to like, you know, the cloud place. And it does, but like, not like near the cloud place. But we found 200 mysterious seashells, 200 rupees, and a piece of heart. See, we actually completed a new heart container just in this video. Like, we got four heart pieces just from that. Now we need only 12 more. And again, there's one heart piece we're definitely not getting until post-game. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Okay, let's see if there's anything else around. Nothing there. Nothing there. On Ranch, we can't do anything there. Lake Hylia, nothing there. There is something in Minish Woods. We can, deck, we can get blue potion from... I might do that just to get that off of my map, honestly. But let's go to Syrup's place. Or at least that area. Mainly just trying to take care of any, like, little loose end... Loose endy things I can do. Um, let me see if maybe this guy has a fusion. Basically, this is what a lot of the secrets will come down to at this point. Just kind of going around the map, seeing if maybe there's any anybody you haven't fused with yet. If you haven't, you're just going to have to wait for a bit. So you can find something to do. Okay, this leads back down to the woods. This is the right area. Yeah, yeah, okay, this is it. Okay, just a Ken Stone. I like that little, like, solar effect that can happen in the woods sometimes. It's really neat looking. Here's the question. Do I want to... Do I want to talk to... Maybe I'll talk to Syrup really quick. Uh, I kept wanting to say Maple, but no. Maple's the witch in the Oracle games. Maybe we can fuse with her? Nope. Oh, welcome back for Granny's famous red and blue potions. Hold on. And I hate that that's not going away on the map, because... That's only going to confuse me. <laughs> um, I could go back to the Minish and see, like, the Minish uh, section. Actually, I think I will do that, because I think there is something we can do with the flippers now, which I didn't have before. So maybe we will go back to the Minish Woods. Or the Minish Town in Minish Woods. <clears throat> which this is probably the faster way to do that. Checking to make sure that wasn't anything. Uh, let me actually also see if there's anything here with this guy. Because I think this guy mentioned fusing a long time ago. And I don't think we actually had anything to do it. So now that we can. Oh yeah, there we go. That. Wait a minute, there's a cracked wall there too? Is this <laughs> Eastern Hill? Yeah, okay, yeah, that's. I wonder if that like cutscene was just. 
I wonder if that cutscene was just, like, taken into account if you hadn't blown that up yet. But, I mean, clearly we did. Because that was literally just north of here. Yeah, okay, so it was just a cutscene. The cutscene was wrong. <laughs> that is kind of funny, though. But yeah, we have another beanstalk. Um, actually, maybe I shouldn't have done this, because I might get more rupees. And as a result... Eh, I didn't get that much of an overflow, at least. More so one of those shells. I'm definitely going to spend my money. I might go back to the uh, Swordsman um, newsletter to see if there's any more of those I can buy. But, uh, that's, that's usually been a pretty good expenditure whenever I've needed it. Back in here. Have I done that it's over there? I don't think I have. We might do that now, too. I d don't think I could have swam before. Okay, let's do this. You want to fuse kinstones? Sure thing, buddy. Here, fuse this kinstone. Bolari. Yeah, that's all the way back in Caster Wilds. I hate that I have to go back there, but... <laughs> Especially since it's probably just going to be like for like a kinstone or something. Uh, nothing else. But yeah, I think we can go over here now. I don't think we could have done this before. So we have three little caves. Maybe we did do this. I can never remember anymore. Now that we have the Minish... Or Minish Cape. The, yeah, the Minish Cape. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cape. Oh, okay. Hold on. This will work. There we go. What a piece of hearts. Hello. Now, I am a little worried because I feel like... <laughs> really? I touched the ground. That didn't count. I'm just, I'm just very impatient, guys. Don't mind me. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really nervous about getting rupees in here. Maybe I shouldn't because here's the thing: if I get rupees, like much like the figurines, the figurines is gonna be like the biggest time sink and money sink in this playthrough, regardless. And like, I plan to potentially use like some save manipulation for that. So. If I somehow get more rupees than I can handle, it's not really the worst thing in the world. Okay, well that's everything we get from those caves. So yeah, I, I didn't think we explored those caves yet, so I'm glad we came back to that. Okay, let's go back to the Minish Village. Can we fuse with the Elder? We can. Yeah, yeah. Fuse with me. I wonder, like, how many fusions we've done and, like, how many still remain. I'm sure there's a lot. I think this is actually the bomb guy. You know what would be great? A bomb that went off only when you wanted. Hmm, actually, I think I could probably make one. Just a few minor tweaks. Yep. Okay, that's the bomb guy. So we can... We can actually get that on our way out. So that's perfect. Um, anything else? Nope. important so you don't have a fusion I, I don't think like all NPCs have fusions that'd be pretty terrible if that was the case honestly 
But, uh, we can actually swim over this way now. And enter this building. Wow, good job on finding this place. There aren't many people who visit me here. Wow, and I've literally did nothing. I feel like that guy is normally supposed to fuse with you. And, like, I think I heard that, like, I think he might have, like, the most amount of fusions or something, but... Maybe I don't have him activated yet. Maybe I have to wait, like, either post-game or just later. I honestly don't know. After this part, I might honestly just, like, kind of do a little bit of research of things I still have to get. And then I might just go to the end game, and then any extras I can just get on my own time. Yeah, see if there's any other fusions we can do in town. I want to say, like, you only want to really focus on, like, the main... Like, the NPCs that are actually important. At least here in the Mesh Woods, anyway. Not true. <laughs> Not true. Immediately untrue. Forest Mesh has a fusion. Oh, this is actually... Oh, actually, you know what? That's... That could be my excuse to go back to Caster Wilds. I'd like to find that other uh, swordsman, though. Because I know that that will be something. Let me check this little house, though. This, this little house on the prairie, which has nothing. Yeah, this is the mayor, which we already talked to him. I could also go back to uh, Malari and see if he has anything. And the, the, not just Malari, but also his just, you know, people there. At last, it's complete. The remote bomb. It blows up whenever you want. If you ever need normal bombs again, just trade me back for them. So, want to trade for remote bombs? Sure. So yeah, we have the bomb upgrade. And again, they let you go back to the way bombs are traditionally used if you ever want to, but yeah, essentially, you can, well, not now, obviously, but yeah, you can lay bombs and then detonate them, kind of like Bomberman's remote bombs, which, hey, you know me, I love my Bomberman, so that's perfect. Okay. Yeah, let's go back to Malari. We haven't talked to Malari or the Krennel Hermit in a long time. We have a perfectly good wind crest that we can use, so maybe, maybe this is the time. Maybe it's time we fuse. Well, we can also fuse with you too. Sure. You're hard at work on your own devices. I think we can arrange something. Of course, it's all the way back there where I just was in Minish Woods. But what else is new? Oh, Malari's gone. Malari is split. He doesn't want any more part of this. Sure he does. See, when you have, like, a different colored Kenstone, I, I get really excited because it's like, oh, this has got to lead to something good. It's got to lead to something good. It does actually lead to something up here. Is that the... That's actually a Beanstalk. Well, I would, I would check that, but I... I'm kind of fully stocked on rupees right now. Plus, I kind of have to go over there to get there. Kind of not in, like, a super great place. Can we fuse again? Nope. It never hurts just to check and see if you can fuse multiple times. There's more fusions with you guys. <clears throat> I hate that we have, like... No more of those kin stones now. And see, this is kind of nice because we just haven't really done a lot on Mount Crenel anyway. I honestly don't think we've gotten very many things to appear up here regardless. Um, oh, we actually don't have... We actually need to not fuse with you because you don't have anything. 
here to you. Okay, not you. You maybe? Oh, I can do that. Mount Krennel again? Uh, yes, yes, that's where the green water is. <laughs> So yeah, we can we can come back here and do some stuff later, which is good. Let's just go back here. Uh, we're gonna go back to uh, the castle town again, I think. Cause I need to spend some rupees before I do anything else. They didn't have anything. Get another newsletter. I want to say there might be seven of them. Maybe eight. <laughs> We've got a new issue for you. Plays music. <laughs> this could be the last one, though. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, I'll buy another one. Yep. Yeah, I'll just buy the next one, too. And we'll do some reading before we close this part. Let's see. Fire up that chili chump. Have you seen a sorcerer who throws cold curses at you? Yeah, the one who keeps disappearing? That's him. Well, next time he shows up, whack him with your lantern. Fire against ice? It's the law of nature. Teach us, teacher. Those pig-faced moblins. You see them around the Minish Woods, right? They're big and dumb. Well, they're also rich. Beat one up for some quick catch. <laughs> wow. A uh, tidbit about amulets. I hear there's a mysterious amulet that raises your abilities if you use it. Now, that's what I heard anyway. It's just a rumor. Okay. Yep. Okay. Talking about Tingle. Which I'm always concerned about Tingle. Have you seen a monster wrapped in bandages if it tries to grab you? Well, here's a pro tip. Bandages burn easily, especially on a mummy. I don't have to spell this out, do I? Yeah, so you know what I'm about to say. That's right, it's time to light up their world. Whoosh. It'd be nice if it was easier to actually get them. Those heavy-handed floor masters and their ear-tearing friends, the wall masters. They're really annoying, but if you beat one, they'll say you'll be rich. Just a rumor, though. Swift Blades gossip. Rupee stealing nasties. Those rupee camouflage creeps have been repping a lot of you off lately. I've heard that you greedy adventurers are getting soaked. In fact, I hear that the greedier you are, the more it takes. So it seems just a rumor. Okay. We've got a reader mail again. Hey, Swiftblade, do you have a hobby? Training. See you in issue 7. <laughs> wow. What a, what a great response. Um. Oh, it's not in yet. Okay. Oh, I have to actually... Okay, hold on. Let me... Let me actually check to make sure. Because he said Swift... It said Swift Blade, so... Maybe I can actually get that now. And again, sorry if we kind of go over time a little bit here. There's nothing more I can teach you, young master. Now you must train yourself. Uh, okay, well, no, not you. Must be one of his ancestors again. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Next part, I might do some more side stuff. But, um... Um, I'll do a little more of that. If we run out of things to do, I'll just go ahead and advance the plot. At least get the next Elemental Sanctuary visit. So, um, yeah. Um, that's what I'll do. <clears throat> so I will, uh, talk to you guys in the next part. Later, folks.